In this podcast episode, Luke Belmar discusses various topics ranging from government intervention in controlling the narrative to the impact of artificial intelligence on society. Belmar highlights the significant role of government intervention in shaping the narrative and controlling reality. He mentions how controlling the narrative allows for the manipulation of people's perceptions and worldviews. He discusses the impact of censorship on social media platforms and the challenges faced by content creators in navigating these restrictions. The conversation delves into the advancements in artificial intelligence and the potential dangers associated with its widespread use. Belmar expresses concerns about AI's ability to manipulate information and create deep fakes that can deceive individuals. He discusses the case of China's Skynet program, which utilizes AI for surveillance and social credit scoring, leading to increased control over citizens. Belmar shares his personal experiences of having content taken down on mainstream social media platforms due to censorship and demonetization. He highlights the difficulties faced by creators in navigating ever-changing policies and guidelines that govern online content. He emphasizes the need for creators to band together and explore alternative platforms that are censorship resistant. Belmar acknowledges the challenges of creating content, especially in balancing his various business ventures and content creation. He mentions the importance of taking time to produce high-quality content that resonates with his audience. Despite the demands of running a business and managing a team, he remains committed to delivering valuable and engaging content to his viewers. The conversation touches upon the role of AI in censorship and the potential implications for freedom of speech. Belmar discusses how AI algorithms can be used to blanket censor content at a massive scale, limiting individuals' ability to express dissenting opinions. He raises concerns about the use of AI to control narratives and shape public perception. Belmar reflects on the impact of technology on society, citing examples such as the integration of facial recognition cameras in public spaces and the use of biometric scans for access control. He delves into the concept of massive surveillance and control in China, where residents are subjected to strict regulations such as walking in one direction on sidewalks and having their faces scanned for various activities. He highlights the use of blockchain technology in places like Hong Kong, where biometric data is stored on the blockchain for security and immutability. He discusses the implications of technology-driven surveillance and control mechanisms, highlighting the need for individuals to be aware of the potential risks associated with technological advancements. Belmar emphasizes the need for individuals to develop skill sets that are transcendent be multinational in terms of citizenship, and build a global network to navigate uncertain times. He mentions his plans to create self-sustaining ranches in remote locations and form high-trust societies where individuals have different roles and responsibilities within a community. Belmar stresses the importance of being prepared for chaotic situations and having escape plans in place. The conversation shifts to the topic of space exploration, with Belmar expressing his fascination with exploring other planets and the origins of humanity. He acknowledges the efforts of individuals like Elon Musk in pushing the boundaries of space exploration and technology. However, he also raises concerns about the potential misuse of technology for surveillance and control, citing examples of how electric vehicles could be used as a mechanism of control through remote shutdowns. Belmar reflects on the challenges of being a controversial figure and the importance of not seeking universal approval. He believes that having a community of like-minded individuals who share a vision and trust each other is crucial for long-term success. He discusses his experience with Building Capital Club, a community-focused platform that offers education, marketplace access, and networking opportunities for entrepreneurs. Belmar highlights the importance of human connection in a world where AI is becoming increasingly prevalent. He believes that community and real-life relationships are crucial for personal growth and fulfillment. He compares his community to the Nile River, emphasizing the need to keep it clean and free from negativity to foster growth and prosperity. Belmar predicts that Bitcoin will reach $150,000 by 2024, citing the increasing adoption of crypto 
and the devaluation of fiat currencies like the U.S. dollar. He emphasizes the importance of diversifying assets and investing in alternative stores of value like Bitcoin to hedge against inflation and economic uncertainties. Belmar discusses his decision to sell his house and liquidate his assets to achieve financial freedom and peace of mind. He emphasizes the need to break free from materialistic possessions and focus on building a life of freedom and autonomy. By reducing liabilities and dependencies, he has been able to navigate the markets and make strategic investments. Belmar delves into the concept of propaganda and manipulation in various industries, including music, media, and marketing. He highlights how powerful entities use psychological tactics and vibrational frequencies to influence behavior and shape societal norms. By being aware of these tactics, individuals can safeguard their minds and make informed choices about the content they consume. Belmar emphasizes the importance of leadership and critical thinking in navigating the complexities of the business world. He encourages individuals to lead from a place of confidence, turn their back on the crowd, and think autonomously. By challenging societal norms and embracing free thought, individuals can carve their path to success and fulfillment. While Belmar acknowledges the stress of managing a business with significant monthly overhead costs, he remains focused on leading his team and driving business growth. He highlights the importance of showing up every day and leading by example, despite the challenges and pressures of running a successful business. Belmar discusses the opportunities presented by the internet, referring to it as a digital gold rush. He explains how the internet has democratized opportunities and enabled individuals to build businesses and change their lives. He emphasizes the importance of staying ahead of market trends and leveraging new technologies to remain competitive in the digital landscape. Belmar shares his journey of personal growth and self-improvement, highlighting the importance of continuous learning and development. He talks about the value of experiences and the impact they have on shaping one's perspective and understanding of the world. Belmar. He individuals to invest in themselves and prioritize experiences that enrich their lives. Belmar touches on the topic of biohacking and optimizing health through practices like peptides and bioregulators. He acknowledges the benefits of these technologies, but also emphasizes the importance of basic health practices such as consuming nutrient-dense foods, exercising, prioritizing sleep, and maintaining overall balance in life. He believes that a holistic approach to health and well-being is essential for long-term vitality. Belmar reflects on his relationship and the importance of communication and understanding in maintaining a strong bond. He acknowledges the sacrifices that come with balancing a busy travel schedule and a committed relationship. He emphasizes the need for open communication and mutual respect in relationships to ensure harmony and growth. Belmar shares his travel plans and goals, including visiting every country in the world and experiencing different cultures. He expresses a desire to explore countries like Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, and various countries in Central and South America. He also mentions his interest in writing two books, one on Bitcoin and the other on his philosophy of life.